Hi, it's Willie Crawford here, and I wanted to show you uh, several things uh, today. One is I want to show you how much information Facebook actually collects on you, and secondly, I'd like to show you how to download a backup copy of what's in your Facebook profile. Now, the reason I did this was that I am at my maximum of 5,000 friends, you can see right here, and I wanted to um, delete some people that I'm not really interacting with so I could accept some new friends. I, I wanted to be able to accept friends who, friend requests from people who I actually know and uh, get rid of those that I've really never interacted with. So I'm sort of cleaning up my friends list. And so what I did was I uh, needed to download a copy of my friends list. And I was uh, researching how to do that and discovered that what you have to do is you have to click on this little arrow here. You need to be on your, your primary uh, um, home page and a profile and then you go over and click on this arrow and go down to where it says settings and under settings it's going to show you your account this, my, this is my name my Facebook profile my publicly available Gmail address that I use all the time I filter pretty heavily and it tells me I need to change that password too but right here is a link that says download a copy of your Facebook data if you click on that um, it sends you over here and uh, it tells you what's included. It says uh, uh, it includes posts, photos, and videos you shared, your messages and chat conversations, info about from your about you section and profile, and more. And that and more includes a lot of things. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, right here it says we're generating your personal archive. We'll email you when it's ready because I've already requested uh, a copy of my. Uh, Facebook data, uh, but let me show you what's included. It tells you right here uh, that when you download your information, doing just what I've just showed you, uh, that Facebook will send it to you uh, in, in one of several formats that you request. I requested mine in a CVS uh, format so that I could open it in an Excel spreadsheet. But it tells you what information is available that Facebook's collected about you. Uh, for example, um, it's the, the, everything in the About Me section uh, will be included in download information. Uh, everything in your account status history, that, including the date when your account was reactivated, deactivated, deleted, or disabled, is downloaded. Active sessions, so they show you all the stored active sessions, date, times, devices, IP addresses, cookies, browser information. Facebook is keeping all that information on you. That's how they can target you in advertisements uh, when they sell pay-per-click ads. Um, tells you the ads that you've clicked, that's downloaded. Uh, your current address or any address you've had in the past on your account, that's downloaded. Add topics or a list of topics that may be targeted against that you may be targeted against based on your stated likes, interests, and other data you put on your timeline. Again, that that's how they target you in Facebook ads. So that information is downloaded. Any nicknames or whatever that you've used or maiden name that's downloaded. Any apps, all the apps that you have added, downloaded. What you show us your birthdays downloaded. A history of the conversation you've had on Facebook chat says a complete history is available directly from your message inbox, but that information is downloaded. Your activity log, places you've checked in from, downloaded. Connections, the people who have liked your page or place, RSV to your events, installed your app or checked in to your advertised place within 24 hours of viewing or clicking on any ad or sponsored story, that's not downloaded. That's an activity log. Uh, credit cards, it shows uh, that that's available in your account settings. That's not downloaded. Uh, currency, downloaded. Preferred currency. Current city this, uh, that you show in your About Me section, downloaded. The date of uh, birth that you show is downloaded. Uh, Friends you've deleted, people you removed as friends, that's downloaded. What have you shown your education? It's downloaded. Emails, that's the email addresses you've had in the past, including the ones you've removed, downloaded. Events that you've joined or been invited to, downloaded. Facial recognition data. So this is a un unique number based on the comparison of the photos you were tagged in. We use this data to help others tag you in photos. That's downloaded. Family, people that you've identified from your friends list as family, downloaded. Favorite quotes, downloaded. Followers, a list of people who follow you, downloaded. Isn't this amazing? Uh, da, da, da. Who you're following, that's not downloaded. That's in your activity log. Friend requests, <coughs> excuse me. Pending, sent, and received friend requests. So the friend requests you haven't responded to, downloaded. And I'll, I'll glance through that because I want to see if there are any people waiting to be friended that I actually know or should friend. Your friends list, downloaded. I'll go through that because I want to see if there's anybody I don't, 
need to delete in order to add some of the pending friend requests. That's what I reason I downloaded my data actually. Gender, the gender you've added to your account, downloaded. Groups, a list of groups you belong to on Facebook, downloaded. Uh, hidden from news fields, any friends, apps, or pages you've hidden from your news feed, downloaded. Hometown, the places you've added, place you added to hometown and about your section, downloaded. IP address, a list of IP addresses where you've logged into your Facebook account. Won't include all historical IP addresses as they're deleted according to retention schedule, but they keep track of the IP address you're logging in from so they know your location. Uh, last location is in the activity log but not downloaded. Likes on others. Others post, it's an activity log, likes on your post from others, and the activity log likes on other sites, activity log. So it's, this information is not downloaded, but Facebook is tracking it. Uh, linked accounts, list of accounts you've linked to your Facebook account. That's in the account settings section, so it's not downloaded. Locale, the language you select to use in Facebook, downloaded. Logins, IP addresses, dates and times associated with logins to your Facebook account. So you can see if anybody's hacked your account and is logged into it, downloaded. Logouts, same thing, downloaded. Messages, message you sent and received on Facebook, note, note. If you've deleted a message, it won't be included in your downloads as it's been deleted from your account. So here's where you can go through and look and see if maybe you promised to get back to somebody or something or you've got some pending request or whatever. All these messages are downloaded and you can just pop them up in an Excel spreadsheet and, and go through those instead of having to scroll back through you know, hundreds of potential messages. I, I have thousands actually. Uh, so that's all downloaded. Um, name, the name of your Facebook account. Downloaded and name changes. Any change you made it to the original name you used when you signed up. Downloaded networks. Networks affiliation with schools or workplaces that you belong to on Facebook. Downloaded notes. Any notes you've written and published. That's in the activity log, but it's not downloaded. I need to actually go and verify where the activity log is. So I can maybe glance through that. I think I know where that is already, but I'm not sure. Notification status. It tells you what uh, a list of your notification preferences and whether you have email and text enabled or disabled for each. Downloaded page admins, pages you admin, downloaded pending friend request, pending sent and received friend request, downloaded phone numbers, mobile phone numbers you've added to your account, including verified mobile phone numbers added for security purposes, downloaded photos you've uploaded to your account, downloaded photo metadata, any metadata is transmitted with your uploaded photos, downloaded physical tokens, badges you've added to your account, downloaded. Isn't this amazing? Pokes, a list of Who's poked you and who have you poked? You need to be careful with that poking, but uh, that's downloaded. Wow. It says poke content from, from our mobile poke app is not included because it's only available for a brief period of time. After the recipient is viewed, the content is permanently deleted from our system. Political views. Any political views that you've uh, listed, downloaded, post by you, anything you post to your time load, Timeline is in the activity log, and actually you access that from the one of the menus on your main uh, main profile. Post by others. Anything posted to your timeline by someone else, like wall post or link share on your timeline by friends, it's downloaded. Wow. Wow. Post to others. An activity log. Privacy settings. Your current privacy settings. Former settings not safe. So that's not downloaded. You have to go to the privacy settings section there. Recent activities. Actions you've taken and, and interactions you've recently had. It's in the activity log and it's downloaded. Registration date. The date you joined Facebook. Activity log and downloaded. Religious views. Downloaded. Removed friends. People you've removed as friends. Downloaded. Screen names, the screen names you've added to your account and the service they're associated with. You can also see if they're hidden or visible on your account. Downloaded searches you made on Facebook, it's in the activity log, shares in the activity log. Spoken languages, languages you've added to spoken languages. Downloaded status updates, any updates you've posted. Activity log and downloaded. Wow, wow, I've made so many updates. Uh, work. Any current information you've added to work in the About section of your timeline is downloaded. Vanity URL, your Facebook URL example, username or vanity for your account. Mine is willie.crawford1. Visible on your timeline URL. Okay. And videos. Videos you've posted to your timeline. It's in the activity log and it's download information. Now, isn't that amazing? Facebook has all this information about you and uh, you can go and download it. All you need to do is again um, go over to your profile, uh, click on this arrow here, 
and go down to settings and under settings right in the center of the page you'll see uh, where it says download uh, or, or, or download my archive information I think is how it's labeled and it's that simple and then Facebook will send you an email uh, right now I, I, I got an email that says you recently requested a copy of your Facebook data we'll send you another email with a link to download when it's ready for security reasons the link will only work for a few days after it's sent so please mark your email for our message if the link doesn't work by the time you read your email you'll have to restart the download uh, so what Facebook basically does is it retrieves all the data just about all the data in its archives about you all those things I just showed you it compiles them into uh, any of the several formats and then it sends you a link to download it uh, via email and uh, when you download it you get an uh, I, I get an Excel spreadsheet and it uh, shows I think I've been active on Facebook for about five years now <laughs> so it's a lot of data but again I, I, I wanted to back up my data because I wanted to go through my friends list primarily and uh, delete people I'm not really interacting with or don't even know who they are and then look at the pending friends and add some friends that um, I, I really want to interact with and Facebook limits you to 5,000 friends so that's why I downloaded this information but I wanted to show you uh, really um, how much information Facebook collects on you and so when somebody uh, wants to run a Facebook ad or wants to target you with retargeting or whatever there's a a dozen ways they can do that and they can be very specific in the demographics uh, when running these ads and I, I run Facebook ads myself but very specific in the demographics because they know so much about you they know every page you've liked everything that you've shared uh, they know your interest and so it's very easy for them to allow people to run ads and target you this is Willie Crawford I'm at WillieCrawford.com I enjoy sharing this type of information uh, with my subscribers and I enjoy teaching you all about the internet and how to be safer in operating on the internet and how to make money from the internet. I've been doing internet marketing or earned by living from the internet for 18 years now. So I invite you actually to go over to my website at WillieCrawford.com and subscribe to my newsletter and I'll continue to provide you with outstanding information like this recording. Thank you very much for listening.